or Gus. Can I call the meeting to order, please? Good evening, everybody. This is the uh, February 22nd, 2007 uh, Board of Zoning Appeal meeting. So, you be sure you're talking into your mic? My mic? Is that his? Are you at the mic? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, Judy, do you want to call the roll, please? Yes. Donnell? Here. Perry? Here. Pfeiffer? Here. Khan? Here. Also present is Village Planner Denise Swinger. Um, we have a couple quick housekeeping things. Um, we don't have a review of the agenda since we've only got one thing, and then I noticed that we have to nominate a chair. <laughs> It's a happy day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nomination. Nomination. Yeah. All right. What that means, folks, is that you all have to decide. We all have to decide who's going to chair next year's BZA. So we can do that by nomination and a vote. If anybody wants. To I, I nominate Ted. I second <laughs> the motion. Yeah. All those in favor? <laughs> aye. 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 Some men are born to greatness, Ted, and others have it thrust upon them. Do you want to do a roll call on that? We actually have to wait until the next meeting to hold the vote, so that could be July. Oh, okay. And okay. Okay. Wow. okay. But yeah, it's in the charter that way. Sorry. Behind Sorry the to say. You know where I live? You can come by, do some work in the interim, right? Do work around the house. We'll see if we All can right. work something Did everybody out. look at the meeting minutes of last BZA hearing? Yes. Yes. Does anybody have any comments, changes? Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll make the motion. Second. Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All right, this brings us to our public hearing. We have one public hearing tonight. This is for 319 Allen Street. Uh, Denise, do you want to please give us a quick rundown of this? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jurgens, is that how you say that? Uh, yes, okay, Mr. Jurgens um, is the property owner. He uh, recently purchased 319 Allen Street. Um, he is interested in uh, building an accessory structure, a garage, with an accessory dwelling unit above. Um, the current uh, re regulations in the code uh, have a maximum uh, square feet of 800. So what we are asking for tonight is a 136, I believe, 136 feet, square feet um, uh, variance. Uh, reviewing the uh, property size, it's a very large lot. It's in a residential A, low density residential district. Um, it is um, uh, quite more than meets the minimum lot area and minimum lot width requirements as it's over 2.2. Uh, acres um, and uh, it meets all the coverage she's also met all the setbacks for where the location of the new uh, garage and accessory dwelling unit would be located okay um, does anybody have any comments for Denise before we open it up no No, no, thank you. No. no. All right, at this time, I'll let the applicant um, speak if you want to feel a necessity to speak. And uh, well, yeah. 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 Please um, state your yeah. name. Yeah, Eric Jurgens, and I am the applicant, and I'm here with my uh, contractor, Tim Conrad. Um, <clears throat> what you see is pretty much what we have planned. And, um, you know, again, I, I, I appreciate you having me here. So, give me out. Um, I think, and it's um, similar to the structure we uh, put together at 1108 Senior Avenue, and um, um, just was asking for a little bit more extra square footage. Um, I'll have to get three doors on, on the garage itself. Um, location would be essentially where the structure of the garage is that's there now. Um, and as far as the rest of the property, we really have no um, no plans to submit to you at this at, at this time. We're still cooking on ideas, that kind of thing. But um, you know, I promise you again, like I've stood here before. Um, I promise you a quality structure, um, something that um, you know uh, would be an asset to 
to the property and to, to the village itself. So I'm happy to, I mean, if there's anything specific, I, I mean, what you see is what we're, <laughs> what, we're, what you get, um, but I'm more than happy to a answer any questions. It's fine. Okay. Can, I, can I just get a quick clarification? Sure. So I've read that uh, the existing garage is coming down. This one will replace that. Is it actually, I, I wasn't yeah. sure if it's on the same it's spot. Pre pretty much right there. Right yeah. there, mm -hmm. got it. Yep. And, it, and the, the current garage is still standing. It hasn't been It, it is there yet. right now. Got yeah. it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Is, is that the one behind the house? It's sort of to the left? It's to the left, house. yeah. If you're standing there looking at the house, it's over to the left. Back left and back. Corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Anybody else? No, no, thank okay. you. Well, thank you. Yep, thanks. Um, anybody public want to make any comments? Mike Kelly, do you want me to give who I am? Yeah, yes, the, the camera's rolling. <laughs> Mike Kelly, 121st Street. Uh, it was nice to meet you. Uh, we, uh, we saw the garage, you did it here at your current residence, and it looks like a great structure. Um, I don't have too many questions. I assume where this garage is going is meeting whatever setbacks it has to have from the property line, and you're going to take care of all that. So we don't really need. I don't need to bring that up. Um, what is the uh, what is the zoning? What does that mean? As far as um, you said, low density residential. Can you give me a quick explanation of what that means? Yeah, the it, bigger lot sizes are required. Um, the lot coverage changes are different. Um, it, most of your residential A is on the south side of town, where you do have the larger properties. And that just means low density residential. There's not going to, whereas residential B or residential C, you would have smaller lots with more houses next to each other. It's just a density issue. Okay. So is that, um, now if the property owner wanted to come in and, and rent, I guess he's going to, if you're going to build a, an apartment above, if he wants to rent that, that fits within the... That the access, accessory dwelling unit is allowed in all districts, RA, RB, and RC. That's not a, even a, con, it's a conditional use. They'll have to go before planning, um, but it is an allowable use. To have a rental unit above the garage. To have an accessory dwelling unit above your garage. Some people okay. would use it for an office. Some people might rent it out. Some okay. people might have it as a guest place. And um, what is the, what's the current type of garage? So I can get a perspective on what the difference might be. I know it said you're 23 feet 10 inches right now that it is right below the 24 foot threshold. Uh, I, I mean, it would be somewhat of a guesstimate. It's not that tall. It's probably, probably, it's probably 20. 20. 20. It's probably 20 feet now. So it's a, it's a story and a half for okay. sure. Where the, the upstairs is not. So another three feet or so. It, it, I would say roughly. Okay. There, there is an upstairs there, kind of a loft type. You know, okay. it's not, it's not really huge, but yeah. Okay. Um. I guess the other thing is if if Mr. Jurgens wants to add another housing unit to his property, he, uh, he would have to come before the Board of Zoning Appeals to do that, I assume. Uh, he would. And, and I'm sorry if I'm getting too. <laughs> you know, hey, I, well, I can tell you that, I mean, you, it's fine. We're, we're I neighbors, I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, but also. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and if we can keep the conversation. There's a brewery for oh, that other. Uh, that, that's a bit more complicated. It would be difficult for someone to do that. You'd have to do a lot split. I mean, right. there's, and I don't know, depending on where the location of his house is now, if he has enough room on the other side where Antioch uh, is to even make a second. Okay. Second lot. Okay. Thank you all very much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. Much. Anybody Thank else? You. Jennifer Sloan, but everybody calls me Ren. Uh, we live at 110 Kurt, so we're right up against this structure is right up against our property. Um, my biggest concern is that right now, it's only one story. The back of our house is completely glass. So uh, there's some privacy concerns, especially if you get into a two-story. Um, there's trees there, there's large trees, but right now the, the trees are, it, it comes up a little bit and is a little bit above us. So if you put it a second story, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a privacy concern 
and that they'll be able to see everything in our house. Because we our house is all glass on the black back. And so it, it is a little bit of a disconcerting because the property, the way the building is now, the trees block everything. So that that's my concern, it's just mm -hmm. privacy. And You may have. To the existing garage where it is now is closer to the lot line than what we have proposed or what are what is required. Thank you. I'm sorry, can you identify yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tim, Tim Conrad, Thank I'm you. builder for Mr. Gurney. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else? I'm going to close the public hearing and bring it back to council table. Um, comments, questions, motions? So I just want to clarify and make sure that we're all on the same page. The, there's a single variance request before us, and it has to do with uh, the square footage of the footprint. It doesn't have to do with height. It doesn't have to do mm -hmm. with setbacks, uh, which are all met under the current zoning. So that's the one issue that we're here to consider. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm reading that correctly. Got it. Now I was going to bring that up in, in relationship to the, the height of the structure. My understanding is that it's within, if it's 23, what, 23 feet, 10 inches in height, it, that's within the 24 foot allowance for an accessory dwelling. Yes. So then that's, that isn't an issue before this board. Yeah. Right. Nor okay. the screening. Um, the screening, if if we were to consider screening as an option for privacy, it wouldn't have any bearing on the second floor. You know, I mean, a, a six-foot high fence is a maximum fence, fence height. If you're above that fence, visually, there's really nothing in the zoning code that gives us any flexibility on putting restrictions like that. You know, we can't demand somebody put up 20-foot high trees or, or whatever. Um, and then the other issue that happens there from a zoning code perspective is that we get into things that folks uh, really complain about solar rights, you know, causing blockage to gardens, to solar panels, to um, solar heat gain in the winter and things like that. So when the zoning code was rewritten, those, those discussions were around and around and around whether or not we wanted to increase a lot of screening requirements. Um, I think that is. from the perspective of the new zoning code task force, we really more. like the idea of Yellow Springs being a place you, where um, yards kind of migrate into one another. So we try to even restrict fences like and do the no the horse, yeah. fences Challenger and things like that. that. Um, so we understand, you know, it's kind of give and take. The house is here, and then this is Allen that runs here. So it's down. I mean, if you continue. It's right? down towards Corey? Yeah, if you continue. Well, one, of the, one other consideration, and I know it's probably will not make any difference, is that golf. our property, there's a the golf course is right here. at the back okay. of the property, there's about, what would you say, five or six foot immediate rise. Hmm. So then they're on top of that. So it ends up being, relative to our property, it ends up being another five or six feet higher in relative to that so yeah and i know I that's probably not able to be considered no i mean i think you know from a, again it goes back to things that we're we were trying to accomplish in rewriting the zoning code you know doing a story and a half which is what this is mm -hmm. you know as opposed to a two and a half story say and limiting uh trying to limit the accessory building to less than 24 feet uh, where it's the rest of the zoning at 35 feet. Um, you know, that's about all we did. So, you know, I'm afraid it's one of those things to try to increase densities and get more folks to live here in a very tight lane mass. Yeah. Is where the accessory structure thing came from. And, and I think the only, uh, honestly, if, if the windows on the bottom aren't so much of a problem, it's the windows on the top, if they were all like the one on the right there, just that would make us more comfortable, but I don't know if that's even possible. This is the first time we've seen it, so yeah. 
I, I can address that if you like. Well, yeah. go ahead and answer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to go ahead? Yeah. You tell me. Come yeah. on up there, yeah. Um, okay, so currently, um, as, as that is drawn now, of course, we haven't even done anything yet. Right, right. So, this is our first time seeing I understand. understand. So, the, those two, as it's drawn, those two, the smaller windows on, on, the, on the right that you see um, are actually uh, bathroom windows. Okay. Yeah. The, other, the one is uh, kitchen sink on the far left, and then um, just dining area in the, in the kitchen itself. Thank you. So, um, however, uh, and again, I, I will just say as of right this minute, doesn't mean our plans have changed, but there's also, you, you, I mean, there are restrictions within this, the village itself that this is not self-metered. It has to be tied to our property as well. Mm -hmm. We're only allowed one meter. So, um, I, I mean, I don't want to say we've never planned on renting this, but that's not our uh, our initial um, thought on this. Is we actually have um, we have three three children, two um, live in Charleston, South Carolina. Older older girls to 29, 30, 29, 28, and then one son who's a college student in Cincinnati, um, and he actually resides in. The, the one we have now, just over the summer, um, the rest of the time that the unit over, over our garage now is empty. Um, depending on timing for the, the entire rest of the property, as it stands right now, that would be our plan as well. Our son has four more years in school um, before he's finished. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I think that if, if we were living there this time, right this minute, there would be somebody there less than three months out of the year. Okay, the rest so of the time yeah, it would be it's empty. not a permanent residence. Okay. No, no, this is, okay. uh, it is for use for if our, our children would come home um, and want a place to stay, um, you know, uh, college son comes home and he, he, know, he no more wants to stay with his folks, so we want him to stay with us. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, so I think, I mean, uh, you know, but we're not, yeah, okay, so. Well, I think we're over there. And you said this is coming back from the top. It's probably yeah. It's probably a little bit, a little bit, a little bit okay. more forward. And you know, it's again, more I think that yeah. uh, same, same orientation. Okay. So yeah, I mean, the, the what? Yeah, the the top left hand picture is what your is is what will be facing your house. Like um, but again, I mean, I don't. I mean, not again. It's not going to be something that you won't. I understand. Believe me, I'm sensitive to that. Okay, we've thought about this a lot before we showed up here. I've had I've owned this property for a while. This is not my first property in Yellow Springs. It's actually my third one. And I, I mean, I actually appreciate you showing up, and I thank you for that. Um, we won't, you know, I mean, this will be something that is not some five-second slip shot job. Okay. Good enough. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good. And have anything else? I'm, I'm happy. Any more questions? I don't know. I don't think so. Any questions? I don't. Can I ask two questions? Two. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Come on up, please. Can you can you tell me again what an accessory dwelling is? Is that that sounds like more than a garage? I, I was maybe I missed that in the beginning. An accessory structure is a non-habitable structure. An accessory dwelling unit is a an accessory structure to the primary structure of the house, and it is permitted to have a residential unit within it. Okay, and that's what this is. That's what this is. Okay. All right. And do you know of any? Um, sorry. Do you know of any uh, plans to remove any trees at this point? Or? Uh, as it stands right now, I believe everything that's there can stay. Not. We have to get the look, but but I mean. I can't address the rest of the property right now because I don't know what we're going to do. Well, I mean, mainly yeah. just for this, this uh, what we're here with tonight for. We're hoping to. That's why we located where it is. Apparently, there's a, a really large tree uh, just east of it. It's, I mean, that's within a couple of feet of the current structure. I don't want to work between the new building and that tree. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. All right, then. Shall we close the. <laughs> we are closed. Um, does anybody want to start conversation, or would you all like to uh, propose a motion? 
I, I move that we approve the variance request as it as it's been presented to us. Do I have a second? I have a second. All right. What I would like to do then is go through our wonderful list of oh. criteria. So uh, let me just clarify um, that. So you are moving to approve the variance of 136 square feet. Correct. Period. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's that's what's being requested, right? I mean, that's that's what I was trying to make sure we were clear about earlier. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Except, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My math says 126, not 136. Hmm. So let's make sure. Uh, what I'm looking at is the difference between 926 and 800. So let's make sure there isn't a typo or a, a miscalculation in the. The site plan shows 936. Okay, so the in our in our packet it says here under item number six 926 square feet. Where? Uh, staff findings, item number six. Oh, yeah, that's a typo. That's a typo. Because I had it under under the proposed, in the okay. front proposed project, I have it as 936, okay. and a variance of 136. It's, yeah, right. I just yeah. want to make sure yeah. that all the T's are crossed. Yeah, Th thank you. So the correct number is 126? No, it's or it's 136, which is in the proposed project. It's it's right there okay. on the first page. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the application. Being proposed is 936 square feet okay. with a variance of 136. Nothing gets by you. No, whatever. <laughs> you know. All right, are you all ready? Yes. All right, uh, the factors to consider <clears throat> in weighing this number one, uh, whether the property in question will yield a reasonable return or whether there can be any beneficial use of the property without the variance. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, whether the variance is substantial. No. 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 Whether the essential character of the neighborhood would be substantially altered or whether adjoining properties would suffer a substantial detriment as a result of the variance. No. 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 Whether the variance would adversely affect the delivery of governmental services. No. 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 Whether the property owner purchased the property with knowledge of the zoning restriction. Yes. 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 Whether property owner predicament feasibly can be alleviated through some other method other than a variance. Yes. 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 Whether existing conditions from which a variance is being sought were self-created. Yes. You're not going to abstain this time? <laughs> well, I, yeah. I, I never know what this means. Yeah, so. right. Yes. 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 Uh, whether the spirit and intent behind the zoning requirement would be observed and substantial justice done by granting the variance. Yes. 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 Very good. Uh, Judy, do you want to take a roll, please? Yes. So on the motion to approve, uh, Perry. That's You're Perry. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Perry? I'm not Perry. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm not Perry. I was. Pfeiffer. Yes. Con. Yes. Janelle. Yes. Very good. Thank you, folks. Build yeah. on, as they say around here. <laughs> All right, thank you very much Absolutely. for sharing. So do we do I have a motion to adjourn? So we're not yes. doing this vote for chair? It's gonna be next week. It's gonna be next week. Okay. I just double checked. It'll give me time to lobby you all. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I moved to adjourn. That's what you're looking for. There really is no will be? Oh motion to adjourn. Yes. Second? Yes. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. That's why you're the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought to be chairman. That's right.